Welcome back for another episode of Smells Yummy, Now Grub. This episode was brought to you by Bonito Beats. America, always remember to wash your hands before preparing a tasty meal. Wash your hands. It may sound crazy, but I wash my meat. Now look, I don't know how you're going to take this, but people, you should rinse your fruits, vegetables, and meats off before preparing meals. Just trying to save your life. Thank me later. And wash those hands again. Go ahead, man. Quit playing. Wash them. You too, young lady. Now that we done washed our hands and properly rinsed off our meat, let's begin to talk about the meal of the day. It is Macho Nacho Taco. Now, my family loves a good Mexican, and today I'm going to make my signature with stew meat that was cut up fine for fajita -ness. I'm going to be using, hmm, slap your mama. Onion powder. Ah, and my special ingredient. Each episode, I'm gonna have a special ingredient. If you're interested about knowing what it is, hit me in a DM and I'll share. And I also am making Spanish rice with Rotel and I have a can of uh, tomato paste. Let's get started. So those know, I season with my hand. As you can know, I wash my hands already. So what you're doing is using onion powder. What I like to do is season inside of a bowl, halfway, and then season on the grill. I use a McGriddle, so what I do is just put it in there, spread it around. It looks like I'm not putting that much season, remember, but I'm putting half and half. Let's slap your mama. And my secret. Mmm. This right here is gonna make it taste like mmm. Shouts out to all my chicos and chicas out there that make the authentic Mexican food. I got this from one of the homies, mom. Now after that, take my spoon and get the mixing. Now this is the second part of me seasoning. I'm gonna give it a good dusting, make sure it's all spread out. And after I get done doing that, I'm gonna wash my hands, yeah. Of course I am. Uh, wash your hands, man. Now that you got your beef on the grill, seasoned up. It's time to make the Spanish rice. Now I said macho nacho taco. But those that eat the tacos like a little rice on the side. So today, instead of me using packaged Spanish rice, I like to make my own signature rices, whether mushroom and today Spanish. So I'll be using white rice, Rotel. I don't know if you can see it. i give you a spin test. And just a couple of little secret ingredients and the magic will happen. As you look at me, you're probably like, man, you're sweating. If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. Let's go. Man, I wish y'all could smell it. It smells so good. Now we got the meat on the griddle. We got the rice on the stove. And now it's time for the toppings. So my toppings of choice are tomato, because I can feel it. Avocado, feels a little bumpy. And onions. Now everybody don't like onions, but I do. So let's chop these up. Thank you. 
smells yummy now grub follow your boy at s-y-n-g-f-o that's sing-fo s-y-n-g-f-o peace